Joining me now, psychotherapist Lisa Palmer, the founder and clinical director of the Renew Center of Florida. How does this work? So what do you think, doctor? A psychotherapist who also knows President Trump. Lisa, I'm going to go to you. Dr. Palmer, let me start with you. I, I personally disagree with cancel culture. You know, I try to stay out of politics, but I'm all about freedom. I'm all about expressing yourself, being heard. Well, underlying any addiction is usually PTSD symptoms, anxiety, depression, and really somebody not being able to cope with their life properly. I think it's so wonderful that she's actually coming out with this to try to get the help that she needs. A lot of times people's symptoms could be masked, especially when you're in a yoga class. Not everybody has to agree with you and you can be abundant in your own beliefs and in your own decisions and not feel affected by somebody else and I think that's part of being confident and being strong. How you think the government's doing during the virus? Well, I know that the government and, like I said, some of my friends actually who travel with the president in the media pool who report to me almost on a daily basis tell me that there are precautions that are heavy precautions that are being taken within the White House. I worked in the Clinton White House uh, for the press secretary's office. You have to understand that when a trauma happens, the trauma memory is processed different than regular memory. So the brain is now in survival mode and not in, in its rational mode. Meghan Markle is 39 now. That that is very common, you know, especially as you're getting older and a lot of older women can have um, fertility issues. We need to accept each other. We need to be able to listen to each other's points of view. We have to put our health first. I'm in the field of health, so I truly believe in that. We have to restrain ourselves and just not try to defend, not try to change another person's opinion. We have to separate what is the story versus what is the facts, what is our interpretation of what's happening. And I think that what is happening in the media now is that we're getting away from objectivity. And even if I come from a different perspective, I always try to listen from a non-judgmental place. These drugs, because of the chemicals and the fillers, do have side effects for people. And people are not getting to the root cause of their problems. I, mean, I think you have to do what, what's good for you. I think that trending more on a natural side is good, but also you want to feel good about yourself in your interviews and present yourself. And remember that even though you're working from home, you're still at work. If you can combine your purpose with your passion and then you have skills and you can develop your skills, then you can bring something to others. And I think that is what's really important is knowing that you have something to bring and something to offer. And when you know that and you can pursue that, then there's going to be somebody out there, some company out there that's definitely going to want to hire you and see your value. Lisa Palmer, you are exquisite. I would love to talk to you about this again. Thank you so much for your time and your wonderful wisdom. Thanks for having me on the show.